Hello, today I'm going to show you how to install Cube on a Windows desktop or laptop. So first, you want to open your internet browser, go to the address bar, and you want to type in Cube, which is Q-U-B-E dot C-C, Charlie Charlie, forward slash start. So Cube dot C-C forward slash start. Press the enter key uh, to start loading that, and that's going to take us to the Cube downloads page. So here we go, that's just loading now. So you want to click on this icon here, and that'll begin down cube. So you can see that's downloading just there in the bottom left. If you have a reasonably fast internet connection, it shouldn't take too long at all to download. It's not a big file. Uh, if you want to test your internet connection, you can go to cube.cc forward slash speed test, which has a speed test on there, but also the minimum requirements for Cube. So you can know whether your internet connection is going to be suitable for a good Cube experience. Um, if your network uh, doesn't allow you to download programs directly, you may need to speak to your IT team and get them to do the installation for you. That's finished now. So I'm going to click on the file. It'll probably come up with a security question. So I've accepted the security question, and now we have the installer. So I will click here on install, and that will begin. Once again, if your computer is reasonably fast, this won't take too long. It's not a particularly big program. Um, and then what's going to happen is once this is finished installing, it's going to ask us two questions. It's going to ask if we want to launch Cube immediately, which we're going to say yes to. And it's also going to ask us if we want to view a quick guide on making the Cube launcher visible. Now, I'm not going to do that today, but if it is your first time installing Cube, I would recommend that you watch that video uh, just so you can have the Cube launcher visible and you know uh, that you can easily access Cube uh, in your desktop. So, yeah, I'm going to untick that, but we will leave Launch Cube ticked and I will click Finish. So Cube is going to load for us now, and there we go. And we want to click Go to Orientation. So now what this will do is it will take us to the login screen where we can enter our username and password. You should have received an email with your username and password. If not, please email cube at pentaclethevbs.com uh, or speak to whoever the lead for your project is, and they'll make sure you get your details. So I'll enter my username and my password. The password is automatically saved as is the username so that you can log in quickly next time without having to type it out again. I'll tick to accept the terms and conditions and then click enter queue. So we'll see we're just downloading uh, some of the resources now. Uh, next time you log on, those resources will already be downloaded so it will be quicker. And what's happening is Cube is going to take us to the orientation. Now, orientation is a 15 minute course that you can complete by yourself that basically takes you through all the basics you need to know for Cube and helps you to feel familiar and comfortable with the app before you join a proper session. So we've just been loading there. You can already see a blurry version. And now we're in. This is orientation. Because it's our first time on, it's given us a menu uh, to sort out our sound. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure I have my headset selected. We always recommend using a headset for Cube uh, for two reasons. One is that the headset gives you 3D sound. So if someone is to your left on Cube, you'll hear them in your left ear and the same for the right. So it gives you better spatial awareness of, of the virtual environment. The other reason is that uh, if you don't have a headset, you can often other users will hear an echo of themselves when they speak and it's very off-putting. So you'll see there, I've selected my headset for both step one and step two. And then just as a last thing, I'm gonna click on this icon here, which will unmute my microphone and then close the sound. And now I'm ready to begin my cube session. <laughs> 